Hi Taurus, welcome to another personal reading with me. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is going to be a reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. Whenever you find this video, it is the right time. There might be a message here for you. So I'm using um, a different tarot deck, a rather new tarot deck this time, you guys. In the bottom of the deck for your reading, before we reveal the cards on the table, we're going to find these cards all together, Taurus. Um, we have the Knight of Wands. So we've got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that might be significant in your energy or someone else's. You may have this in your in your chart somewhere. This is Sagittarius to me first and foremost. So the Knight of Wands uh, talks about quick passion and energy, someone who's on the quest for adventure and passion and expression, okay? Um, very quick, sometimes inconsistent, a little bit of a fuckboy or a playboy energy here that someone might be dealing with. The Knight of Wands is here for a good time, not a long time. So we definitely have a happy voyager here coming in. We've got the Knight of Swords. Right away we have an air sign and a fire sign that might be important. A Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Libra, an Aries, an Aquarius, a Leo. Looks like Sag and Gemini to me that might be important. Might not be though. Um, these are two messengers, okay? Whenever we have two knights like this, we actually have the knight of swords that is on a bull, uh, which is interesting. This is for Taurus, which reminds me, some of you guys are going to be watching around the time of your birthday. If you're a Taurus sun out there celebrating your solar return at the end of April, beginning of May, happy birthday to you guys. So yeah, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, right? Is that how it's, is that what it's saying? You mess with the bull, you get the horns. It's definitely a little a little bit of a Taurus energy there in that Knight of Swords. So this might be something that you're you're saying. There might be a little bit of an argument here, Taurus, or you might be starting to feel your season energy, that Taurus energy come in after the, the 19th. We do have a Libra full moon April 16th as well. So there's a lot happening, all right? The, we start the reading off with two very quick energies, um, some communication here. There definitely may be some argumentative energy and we do have the ten of swords here so this might have to do with some kind of an ending that's important to mention right now too feeling a little bit wounded okay in the position of a victim but something painful is over here the worst is over all right um and then we have the five of cups so someone here is also looking back to painful endings okay is what's going on here looking back into the past a little bit regretful this could be you or someone who's feeling this way about you maybe depressed or disappointed all right um because there was supposed to be a new beginning here a tangible new beginning but there wound up being some pain so no wonder there's some communication and these are both nights so there's movement here there's uh messages coming in of truth and passion very quick very quick energies all right so we may return to those energies but i, I don't know about you taurus i am ready i have a taurus moon so i'm going to be re-watching this video um, but I'm ready to see what these cards are. So we have the Four of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful celebratory energies. For some of you guys, this is your birthday, okay? This talks about commitment and marriage. This could be Easter celebration for those of you guys who celebrate that. But this is your home. This is your foundation. Dancing energy, party energy. For many of you, that's going to be your birthdays, okay? But there's much to celebrate here. There might be marriage to mention that's important. And then we have the Three of Wands. So we're taking a step back here. Look at that beautiful deer. I love the artwork here in these um, Celtic cards. The name of these cards are going to be below in the description box. Um, someone here may have two dogs, but the three of wands talks about a new path that is emerging, a very spiritual one, if you can kind of gather that here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is extremely important so far. Fire sign energy. Okay, so yeah, there's some kind of a path um, that you're waiting to arrive. You can see it up ahead. This is something that you can see up ahead. It might have to do with the commitment or the home. Now, these next cards came out together, all right? So we have the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? We got a little boy here, a little child here. So this might involve children, but the Tower, Mars energy, this is sudden, a sudden uh, strike of um, change and unexpected upheaval, okay? A false foundation in your life coming to a destructive end so that something better can be built in its place. This could be the end of a relationship. Whatever it is, it's um, change, okay? Some of you guys out there listening are going through a profound amount of change with Uranus in your sign still. Now, uh, someone here is waiting for disaster to strike. They're waiting for lightning to strike with the Seven of Pentacles. This is a waiting energy, okay? It's usually someone who's taken a step back. This is your energy, Taurus, as an earth sign, Virgo and Capricorn as well. 
Um, so there's a little bit of a garden here where you're waiting for something to grow up, okay? You're waiting for something to grow into its full potential, but you don't want to waste your time. So um, this is all about kind of taking a step back to see if something is paying off or not. And if it's not, you might go back to the drawing board. This could be a person, place, or thing. It's really just um, something that you've invested a lot of your time, energy, effort, love, and emotion into, okay? A lot of hard work and dedication. And it really depends on the farmer in this situation, okay? And what I mean by that is in the Seven of Pentacles, there's a farmer, and he's even he's either going to realize that his hard work paid off and he's in profit, or maybe he needs to work a little harder uh, next time, and maybe he's in some debt, okay? So this is going to be a metaphorical realization that you're coming towards, and it has to do with your self-worth. So there's definitely some unexpected change happening to maybe some sort of an investment, okay? This is something that um, you've been waiting on, that you've, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You might be waiting for someone to commit. Now we have the magician here, Mercury energy coming forward here, Virgo, Gemini. Um, so yeah, these are mental commitments. All right, I see a lot of a lot of deer. Now the magician has all the resources that he needs readily on the table. He's got pinnacle, he's got sword, he's got cup, and he's got the wand. So I love when this comes up, especially for you, Taurus, because you are the zodiac sign of resources. Please know that you have everything you need as an alchemist to create. It's almost like having the recipe for a cake. All you have to do is kind of put your, your resources together, okay? So there is something manifesting here in the form of commitment, celebration, and we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Nine, nine. September 9th might be important. Or you might be seeing nine, nine. There's two nines here, which are uh, almost completion cards. So there's two things. There's two different areas in your life that are on the verge of completion. The Nine of Wands talks a little bit about a, a battle, okay? There's someone here who's wounded. They're not backing down. They're not out of the race. They're, they're, they might be backed into a corner, but they're ready. They know the fight isn't over. They're a wounded warrior, and they're they're definitely going to continue on in the battle. They're a little bit on guard and territorial right now. So someone here may be a little bit mentally on guard or mentally territorial, so that might stir up some arguments. But this came out with the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. This was in Aries' reading right before you. Someone here may be... Um, they may consider themselves single, independent, content on their own, okay? And this may be the energy that you're pushed into after some sort of a tower moment that you experience, okay? And this may or may not involve children children in some way. And we have the six of pentacles coming up next. Mother or father and child dynamic here that might be important. Um, the six of pentacles talks all about fairness and balance, okay? Harmony, but not accepting breadcrumbs from people. Uh, not allowing, uh, you know, shorthanded energy or anything like that. Balance and equal give and take between receive and uh, someone who's receiving and giving. You know, making sure that you're, no one involved is giving or receiving more than the other, okay? Because there's equal and fair opportunity here. So there might be someone here who's a single parent. I do see that. Um, I see someone here who's very content, like you're just waiting for something that you know is going to arrive. You're going to celebrate this. There might be an unexpected uh, turning of events when it comes to something that someone was investing in or waiting on. There's something else manifesting. There is a final battle being fought with somebody's self-stability and security. All right. And something here is going to be given to you. OK, I don't want to forget that the six of Pentacles is a helping hand. It's a donation. It's a it's a gift. It's paying off a debt, you know, or or getting a loan. OK, so this might be unexpected, but I do see this and I'm happy that there's some financial cards showing up here for you, Taurus, as an earth sign. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, let me know if you have any feedback or comments um, about this video. And if you'd like a personal reading because this resonated, how to set that up with me is in the description box below. Just go ahead and shoot me an email and I would love to read for some of you guys out there. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.